Well, hi everyone. My name is Danny Sitton and I'm the sports exec. And this video is a follow up to a previous video, video I made called Plyometrics for Tennis. Now, in the other video, I fo focus mainly on the legs. But on this, this video, I'd like to focus on the core area, the trunk area, which again is a crucial part of the body for the tennis movements. Uh, so a couple of reminders, don't try these movements unless you're fully warmed up and free of injury. So let's use that as a starting point. In terms of equipment, for this, you do need some kind of ball. You can use a medicine ball if you want a slightly he heavier piece of equipment. I've got a very light ball here. You could use a basketball or a football. You could even, even use a tennis ball if you wish, but it's crucial that you hold the ball with two hands which is why a slightly bigger ball is more useful. And the other thing you need is a wall. So make sure you're using a wall that won't get damaged uh, too easily if you throw the ball against it. So let me take you through a series of movements that all have a plyometric element to them, which makes them particularly good for explosive sports like tennis and the kind of movements you'd be doing on a tennis court. So the first one uh, is very simple. You get into a tennis ready position, you take the ball to the pocket, as you do your trunk rotation and then you release by throwing the ball against the wall. And the whole point here is you're trying to sink down, you keep your head and shoulders above your hips, so try not to lean too much from one side to the other. And what I'm replicating here is an open stance forehand. So this is an open stance forehand, this is an open stance backhand. You can do the movement on both sides. You could also do a closed stance forehand where you step with one foot in the other and you throw the ball from this position and equally you can do the same for the backhand side as well. So you can do sets of 10, 15, 20, it depends on the, the weight of the ball you're using. If you want to try something a little more difficult, you could try this from a kneeling position or a seated position. Let me show you. So if you kneel, that you take your ability to use your legs away from the movement, but it's very good for the core and the rotational side of the movements. And the next level up would be a, a seated position. Again, you start with the ball by your pocket. This will feel much more awkward, but you can throw the ball against the wall on both sides, recreating those rotational types of movements. Now another good movement I like with a medicine ball is the overarm throw. This is very good at developing strength through the abdominal region and is good for the serve. It helps provide that explosivity and stability through the serve. You can do this standing, but because of the camera angle, I'll do it from a kneeling position where again you use the wall to rebound the wall, re rebound the ball, and you do lots of throws, trying to control the throw. You can do this seated as well, where you just practice the throw. If you want to take this up a notch, you can go back into a sit-up position and come up and then do the throw. There's all sorts of variations you can do to make it slightly more difficult. Uh, and another movement I'd like to show you, and this is again very good for the serve and very good for the explosive element, are some other ball throwing exercises. Now this is a little bit difficult to demonstrate in front of a camera, um, but I'll show you. The first one, let me just adjust the angle slightly. You start in a squatting position, ball between your knees, and then you jump, you do a jumping squat and release the ball as high as you can. If you do six or eight of those, you'll quickly feel that works for legs quite well. And the final exercise I'd like to show, again, this is a bit of a, bit of a strange one, uh, but you, I want you to hold the ball above your head and you jump and slam the ball into the ground. I'll show you again. So you slam the ball into the ground. Again, this is very good for creating the explosive element of those ab muscles which you need when you're hitting the serve. With that last one, be careful you don't have the ball bounce up uh, hit you on the face. Uh, I've done that a few times, so just be careful of that. So I hope you find this video useful. A couple of key reminders. Make sure you're fully warmed up before you try these movements. Don't try them if you're carrying an injury because they involve multiple parts of the body. And I hope you have some fun with them. And if you've got any suggestions, something else you'd like me to show you, uh, please let me know. 
Hope it was useful. See you soon.